Hi, boys and girls. Welcome back to Storytime with Miss Felicia. I'm Miss Felicia, and I am so happy that you all can join us for another Storytime adventure. So, this week we are going to be reading a story about turtles. Who loves turtles? Me! Me too! I love turtles. They are so cute. There are some turtles that are tiny like these baby turtles. They have little tiny little flippers and fins. And then there are turtles that snap. And those turtles. Now if those turtles get you, whoo, it's gonna hurt. But we're gonna read a story about a tiny little turtle. So let's dive into our book. One Tiny Turtle. About turtles. Sea turtles are related to tortoises and tarpons. They are all reptiles. Sea turtles are great wanderers, traveling thousands of miles each year, often far from land. This makes them difficult to study. So scientists are only just beginning to find out about their mysterious lives. There are seven species of sea turtles. This book is about the loggerhead turtle. Loggerheads live in seas all over the world. So we're going to be learning about the loggerhead turtle. And that turtle lives in seas all around the world. I'm really excited to see these turtles. One tiny turtle. Look at that cute little turtle there. Far, far out to sea, land is only a memory. An empty sky touches the water. Just beneath the surface is a tangle of weed and driftwood where tiny creatures cling. Is This is the nursery of a sea turtle. Look at that beautiful ocean, that bright sun. And can you see the seaweed and the driftwood? It looks so very peaceful. Passing in a boat, you might not notice the turtle, not much bigger than a bottle cap, a bottle top. She hides in the green shadows. She's a baby, so sh her shell is soft as old leather. Just a little fish bite could rip it open. But the turtle is safe in her world of weed and snaps her beak on tiny crabs and shrimp. So what do turtles eat? They eat crabs and shrimp. Turtles have shells that cover their backs and shells that cover their stomachs. The shells are made from bony plates that get bigger and harder as the turtle grows. So, what is a turtle shell made out of? It's made of bony plates. And those bony plates are soft when turtles are babies. And as they get bigger, it gets harder and it grows with their body. The turtle swims around, flapping her long front flippers like wings. She is flying underwater. She pokes her pinprick nostrils through the silver surface to take a quick breath as so fast, blink, and you'd miss it. Then she's gone, diving down into her secret life again. 
fish breathe underwater, but turtles are reptiles and need to come up to the surface for air. They do this every four to five minutes when they are active. When they are asleep, they can stay underwater for hours. Whoa, now that is cool. So a turtle, because he's a reptile or she's a reptile, they have to come up to the surface to get air every four to five minutes. When they're moving about and swimming, they have to come up for air. But when they're sleeping, they can stay underwater and be fine for hours. That's pretty amazing, right? For three or four years, maybe more, the turtle rides out the storms and floats through the hot calms. Steadily, she outgrows her nursery. Nobody sees her leave, but when you look for her, she has vanished all the same. A year or two later, she turns up close to land, bigger than a dinner plate now. She's not a fish snack anymore. Her shell is hard as armor. Her head is tough as a helmet. She's grown into her name, Loggerhead. She has come to eat crabs. Millions swim up from deep water to breed in the shallows. Their shells crack as easily as hen's eggs in her heavy jaws. But in a week, the feast is over and loggerhead disappears again. So what do these turtles, these loggerhead turtles like to eat? Can anybody guess? I think it's something that has a shell and it's blue and it has pincher claws like this. Pincher, pincher, pincher. They're crabs. Turtles like to eat crabs. When a loggerhead turtle puts the crab in their mouth, the crab's shell cracks. Loggerhead wanders far and wide in search of food. In summer, to cool seaweed jungles where she finds juicy clams and shallows of shrimp. And in the winter to tortoise lagoons, warm as a bath, where she can munch among corals. Loggerhead may travel thousands of miles, but she leaves no trace or track for you to follow. Only good luck will catch you We'll catch you a glimpse of her. So the loggerhead is a very stealthy animal and secretive animal. There's no trace of them as they swim through the ocean. For 30 years, you might not find her. Then one summer night she arrives on the beach where she, she was born. She's found her way here, sensing north and south like a compass needle, feeling the current and the warmth of the waves. She remembers the taste of the water here and the sound of the surf. Male turtles wait just off the nesting beaches. They mate with the females. Then the females come ashore and lay eggs. So where do the baby turtles get born? They get born right here on the beach. Mama turtles come and they make a nest and they lay their eggs there. Loggerhead has grown in her wandering years. She's big as a barrow now, 
floating in the sea, she weighs nothing, but on land, she's heavier than a man. Whoa, so she's heavier than a big man. I thought we were reading a book about a tiny turtle, but this turtle has grown to be really big. So every flipper step is a struggle and her eyes stream with salty tears, which help keep them free of sand. Coming ashore is very risky for sea turtles. They can easily overheat and die. So they only nest at night or in cool weather. Then they get back to the sea as soon as possible. Has anybody ever gone swimming? Oh, you have. Well, when you go swimming, if you float in the water, aren't you really light? You're light like a feather and you move very easily. So just like that, in the water, a turtle is super light and they float and with their flippers, they can glide and move easily through the water. But when they get onto land, all the weight of their body, their mass, is very heavy and it makes it hard. So that's why turtles move so slow on land. When they move on land, all their weight is super heavy for their fins. Loggerhead makes her nest where the sea won't reach, scooping carefully with her hide fin, her hide flippers. So that means her back flippers. She makes a steep, deep hole. Inside, she lays her eggs like a hundred squiddly or squiggy, squiddy ping pong balls. Oh, see, those are her eggs. They're tiny. Afterwards, she covers them with sand to hide her nest from hungry mouths. So she covers her babies up and protects them. Then Loggerhead is gone again, back to her secret life. Left behind under the sand, her eggs stay deep and safe. Baby turtles grow inside. Females stay close to their nesting beach for several months. In that time, they usually make a, at least four nests and sometimes as many as 10. Wow, that's a lot of nests. And before the summer, is, the summer is over, they wiggle from their shells. Turtle eggs in warm sand can be ready to hatch in six weeks. If the sand is cool, they can take three weeks longer. So look at those little cute baby turtles, they're hatching. That means they're coming out of their shell, they're breaking out of their shell. Above them on the beach, a hundred eyes watch on the lookout for a meal. So the hatchlings wait until night. Then they burst through the sand and skitter towards the sea. The horizon where the sea meets the sky tells baby turtles which way to turn to get to the water. But street lights and buildings next to the beach can confuse them and make them go the wrong way. Oh, I did not know that. So I learned something new. Did you learn something new? When there are too many street lights and too many buildings, the lights from the buildings can confuse the baby turtles to know which way is the ocean because the baby turtles use the horizon and the reflection from the moon to guide them to the water. In the dark, claws and beaks and grabbing paws miss only one young turtle. One day she'll remember this beach and come back. But now she dives under the waves and swims, 
swims and swims out into the arms of the ocean far far out to sea land becomes a memory waiting to wake in the head of the little turtle So you see the little turtle? She made it to the sea. So sometimes not all the turtles make it to the sea. And now she's off floating. The end. And that was a little turtle. Did you guys enjoy that story? I really liked learning about the loggerhead turtle. That was really interesting. It's interesting to know that turtles eat crabs and shrimp, and they also munch on coral. And what else do they do? When it's time for them to lay their eggs, they find the beach that they were born on, and they go lay their eggs and have their babies there. That's really amazing that a turtle has such great senses to know that the water and the smell of the different waters and the temperature is the right place to go lay their eggs. Well, I'm so happy that you guys could join us for story time. And I wanted to remind parents, if you really like story time and your kids really like story time, please hit the subscribe button. We would love for you to become a, a member and to join us every week for story time on YouTube. Until next time, bye friends.